ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲಿಸಮ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮನಿ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಬಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪೆರಿಟಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೈರಾಗೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ದೇ ಹವ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯಾ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ತೃತೀಯ ಎಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ತೃತೀಯ ಇಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮನಿ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕುಬೇರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ತೃತೀಯ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೇ ಶಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಮಂಥನ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ದ ಪುರಾಣ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪದ್ಮ ಪುರಾಣ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫೈಸ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ತೃತೀಯ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಡಸ್ ದ ವೈಶಾಖ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ್ಯ of padma puran state it states that when all the gods including indra they were all hiding in water from the demons because the havoc created by the demons was so severe so severe that they could not tolerate the onslaught of the demons so they went hiding in water so the jala tatva gave the rakshana or ashraya for the devatas it is then that lord narayana had to protect the gods and kill the demons vanquish them and all the gods returned back to their lokas their respective lokas you know with lot of assurance from lord narayana after he killed all the demons now this is the day of akshay tritiya so it has nothing to do with gold it has nothing to do with money have you ever heard any of your grandmothers or grandfathers buying gold on akshay tritiya have you heard them highlight the fact that oh today is akshay tritiya do a special puja for lakshmi only today um, go and uh, buy gold buy good um, jewelry buy stuff for home no i don't think any of the grandmothers have ever done anything like that because there was nothing like that there was no rishi sanskar instilled which directly connected the akshay tritiya with gold or money it is all the marketing tricks of all the jewelers it could be also of people who are interested in all this they trying to encourage them to uh, you know promote buying gold sari jewelry and lot of things like that there's nothing like that see prosperity is not a one day activity on akshay tritiya worshiping lakshmi is good but i am saying that worship lakshmi every day if prosperity is your goal worship her every day na why is it that you want to do it only on akshay tritiya do at least don't forget on akshay tritiya i understand maybe okay still it has some sense you know you worship her on this particular day but why do you have to pay money and buy gold on this day you know you we should buy jewelry when you feel like buying when you feel like wearing so it should not be like uh, you're buying jewelry just for the sake of buying see akshay tritiya itself is that it is, it falls on vaishakha masa tritiya shukla paksha so why this is happening because the great lord narayana himself protected the other gods like indra varuna all of them were there all agni vayu all the gods were there they were all troubled by the demons he protected them they went back to their respective abodes and started resuming doing their jobs so i mean this is the significance of this day there's nothing else to this and uh, i don't even see any sanskarik reference of any of our forefathers doing anything like this on this particular day now i'll tell you what is it that you need to do on this particular day see if it's an akshay tritiya day akshaya means what something that's perennially flowing it doesn't dry up it's a well which does not dry it is a a pot which is never empty now that is the significance of akshay tritiya so on this day what is it that you need to do you need to have perennial blessings the pot of blessings what you have at home as grace or abundance or in your heart should always be full it should never go empty see that is the whole significance of akshay tritiya so on this particular day what you actually need to do is invoke the blessings of your forefathers or pitru devatas of all the rishi munis of all the elders in the family get the good wishes of youngsters and your peers that is and donate to the deprived 
Now that is a Punya Karya. So Akshay Tritya is a day where you do the Punya Karya. You go to temples, you donate money there. If they have a donation box or a hundi, just put money inside that. Give for Anadhan. It's very, very auspicious to do Anadhan on Akshay Tritya. Now these are the things if you trace back what you, your ancestors have done, you will understand that on an Akshay Tritya, probably they fed a Brahmin priest or a, a small boy or probably they gave a bhiksha to somebody who is deprived. You see, this, these are the kind of things you need to do because that gives you Punya and Punya goes on increasing multifold. See, that is the whole point, right? So, finally, in your hard days or challenging days, what is it that is protecting you or that is going to protect you? It is the blessings of the unseen hand. It is your Punya which is going to support you. So, please don't mistake Akshay Tritya to be anything to do with gold. You have gold jewelry, you want to wear, you wear. See, what is happening right now, a lot of people call me saying they have financial constraints, they are in debts, they are in lot of financial commitments. All this happens because we are basically not following our forefathers. That is the root. See, earlier what used to happen is, on festival occasions, on birthdays, they would probably buy dress for themselves. They would get dresses for their children. But on other days, casually there was nothing called shopping. So there was some discipline in spending. Okay. So there were no unnecessary financial commitments for them. Today it's not like that. We have so many shopping websites and apps. So what do we do? The moment we are bored, we just keep browsing and uh, just checking oh, what is there and then oh I like this dress and I want to buy it. Now that has become the order of the day. And then we go on buying stuff, not just dress, it just goes on extends to everything. So when we go on buying like this on a shopping spree, we don't even have to go out, right? That's, that's how it, easy it is now. Then what happens is automatically our, uh, without our knowledge, we go on spending like a more compulsive buying kind of a thing. And finally, one day we realize when we see our credit card bills or when we see the bank balance end of the month and we realize, oh my God, I did so much shopping this month. Oh, next month I'm going to be more disciplined and that next month will never come. So all these things like this, whatever is our limit, we don't understand and we go beyond, we stretch and then what happens? We get into financial stress and then we say, okay, now today let me do Lakshmi Kubera job. Tomorrow, uh, I mean, you know, today is Akshay Tritya, so I'll do it today. Tomorrow, I may not be able to do it. So, I'm saying that if your financial goal is set, okay, I want to earn this much money, I want to save this much, whatever, I want to buy this gold jewelry, I want to end of the year have 100 grams of gold. I'm just saying randomly. If these are your goals, do it, but do it in a way that you're conscious of this, you're aware, and you're planning it in such a way that your prayers, are aligned towards that, your actions are aligned, your efforts. I'm saying even in the materialistic sense, like if you have to work hard in your profession, if you have to save, all of that, all those efforts should be conscious. Things will fall in place automatically. It should not be like just one Akshay Tritya day, I'm going to go buy gold and keep it inside. I'm going to get uh, gold all throughout the year. Has it happened? Have you tracked how your last year was? Where uh, you bought gold on Akshay Tritya and whole year you were buying gold? If yes, please tell me, then I would reconsider whatever I have said just now. Because it's, it doesn't work like that. You know, the thing is, Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga, Kali resides in gold. That is why Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and great sages always said Kamni and Kanchana. So, gold is one place where Kali definitely resides. Kali also resides in alcohol and all other vices. So basically, today we have to see whether we want to invoke the blessings of Kali, which is nothing but delusion and Maya, or we want the blessings of the great Lord, the great Goddess, I mean whichever form of divinity we pray to, our Ishta Devata, or our Kula Devata, or our Grama Devata. That is the attitude with which we should approach divinity. Things cannot happen overnight. And we compare ourselves to others and say, no, 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 that person uh, really, I mean, overnight he became rich. There is no overnight becoming rich. There will be some effort behind that. You may not be aware of it. Or he must have done some Punya Karya in his past that, you know, that is reaping benefits now. He may be redeeming the benefits of it now. Because you don't know your own past. How will you know somebody else's past? Think about it. Think about it. This Akshay Tritya, please make a conscious effort to do good things like Dan. I mentioned about Anadan. 
vastradan vidyadan ah one more thing you could do is also if you have a guru and you can go and take his blessings on this particular day please do that if you are able to get a mantra diksha or receive a mantra be very happy and feel blessed to receive a mantra or if you can give a mantra to somebody if you feel you are eligible if you are competent you want to share a, sh- a stotra or a shloka with somebody or a mantra you want to teach somebody that is a fantastic daan you can do you should do all of these not anything else akshay tritiya is the great day where Ma- lakshmi manifested again from the samudra manthan that is fine she manifested make her manifest in your life invoke her blessings the more you give the more you receive is what my guru always tells so just give more give love give with all your heart and count on your blessings seek the blessings of elders and um, whether they are alive or they are dead that doesn't really matter because if they are alive also they will wish you well because they are elders and if they are no more again they are devatas so you can always seek their blessings ashirwad that is the best thing to do in, on akshay tritiya it doesn't cost you money it will give you immense peace and satisfaction it will also fill you with a lot of confidence you'll be so filled with confidence and peace that you know that is when you'll start thinking clearly how can i earn money if my goal is money how can i save if my goal is to save how can i buy jewelry if my goal is to buy gold it's just not about you have excess money anyway it's just sitting in the bank or in the locker let me go and exchange that with some gold i mean you can do that but you can do it on any day you don't even have to do it on akshay tritiya why do you want to bring kali home on akshay tritiya this is my question to you today i hope you enjoyed watching this video i wish you all the best and happy akshay tritiya namaste